What's up guys, this is Yasu. Welcome back to my channel. You're watching Yasu's Fit Frag and today I'm going to talk about another fragrance from the brand Riffs. Okay, so if you remember my videos on Riffs Cafe Noir and Riffs Incense Gold, which I have reviewed long back, I think about one and a half years or maybe two years back. This is another one which I bought recently and that is called Riffs Freshly. Okay, this is how the presentation comes. This is the front, it says Freshly. Eau de Parfum 100 ml and this is how the back looks here you see the Riffs branding here and then the base okay so the batch is 2020 November okay now let's get into the bottle so the bottle actually looks nice with that red designing on the sides it's pretty simple but still a great bottle okay for the price of 1100 to 1200 this is absolutely great so it says Eau de Parfum freshly by Riffs and it has a wooden sort of a cap. It looks like, yeah, maybe wood. It doesn't look anything like a cheap plastic. And this is the sprayer. The sprayer is also not bad, okay? The base just has this sticker. Now, if you're wondering what clone this is of, I am guessing that it is a clone of Guerlain Frenchy, okay? The guess that I'm doing is only because the bottle looks exactly like this. Have a look at that. This is how Guerlain Frenchy looks like. It has a very same design, similar red sides on the bottle, has a similar sort of look. So I'm guessing it is a clone of Guerlain Frenchy. Why I'm guessing is because I've never smelled Guerlain Frenchy. Because I don't think it is available here, neither I've seen it in Dubai when I traveled, or maybe I didn't pay attention to that, I'm not really sure. But I do sense some sort of similarities because when I smelled this one, it did give me vibes of Guerlain Vetiver, if you are aware. Okay, this is Perfume Guru's favorite Guerlain Vetiver. And it also has some vibes of Guerlain Heavy Rouge based on the notes, based on how this one smells, okay? So it does have similar vibes of these two Guerlain, so I'm sure this is indeed a clone of Guerlain Frenchy, which I showed you in the picture. Now let's talk about how exactly it smells. So like I said, it definitely has that vibes of the typical Guerlain matured man's type of fragrance, likes of in the direction of Guerlain Vetiver, Guerlain Heavy Rouge. So I'm sure this Guerlain Frenchy also smells in that typical Guerlain matured man's type of DNA, which is generally preferred by people who are 35 to 50 years of age because they don't really like playful sort of blends, which you get in Pacroban Invictus or One Million. So those are not the scents which most men who are about 35 plus prefer, but you can have exception. It's all about personal taste. Now, if you ask my opinion, I used to love in Packer Van Invictus, One Million, those sort of playful, fruity, sweet sort of fragrance when I was young. So now I've started developing taste towards slightly mature type of fragrance, a bit on oud, dark sort of fragrances, a bit of complexity, because you get sort of bored with the same fruity, playful DNAs, but to be honest, those are the scents which generally are crowd-pleasing and most women love that sort of fragrances. These are something which they like, but they don't go crazy over it, just so that you understand the difference. But if you have to personally enjoy it, that is totally dependent on you. So this also has a very nice citrus along with vetiver in the opening. Okay, that's the reason I compared it with Guerlain vetiver. This definitely has that Similar sort of vetiver, obviously I won't compare the vetiver quality with Guerlain because this smells way natural than this one. But again, for the price, this does not smell anything like a cheap synthetic. This definitely has done great stuff for the price. The vetiver does smell a lot natural. Probably they have used natural, I'm not very sure, but they would have used the most cheapest form of natural ingredients here or it could be synthetic in the best way possible because it definitely gives that old school sort of a vibe in the most natural way possible because for the price this is definitely great but only those who like matured man's sort of blends will like this one so citrus and vetiver in the opening like i said and then the mid which is after 30 minutes gives some sort of peppery feel along with soft lavender and then in the base you get a nice tonka sweetness. Now the tonka sweetness is very mild, doesn't make it a sweet fragrance. The tonka here is only to cover that pepper, lavender, vetiver to give that slight sweetness to the overall blend. And that touch of tonka is really done nice 
and makes it more wearable and more easy to light okay so overall the blend is absolutely great but like i said this sort of fragrance is for those who have a matured nose in the sense who like matured man's fragrance not the typical fruity floral playful sort of fragrance so if you enjoy Guerlain Vetiver, Guerlain Habi Rouge, that sort of blends, you will definitely like this one. And this is on a budget, guys. So in case you're looking for that sort of barbershop, old school type of fragrance, matured man's type, then you will definitely like this one. So definitely give it a try. Now coming to the performance. The performance is definitely average or above average because it projects softly for about one to two feet in the first two hours and gives a good lasting of seven hours on my skin. So I'm sure on clothes it can go up to 8 to 9 hours, which I think is still a great deal for the price what it sells for. So definitely no complaints in terms of performance, but definitely not something which is like a beast. And in my honest opinion, this shouldn't be a beast because something which is of whatever lavender or the old school barbershop sort of fragrance should not be a beast because if it is a beast, then it will not be appealing to the nose. It is best when it smells moderate within one to two feet with a very nice decent projection so i hope you enjoyed the video let me know in case you have tried this comment down in the comment section see you next time soon keep sharing the videos cheers